A few years ago, I switched from Windows to Mac and I downloaded probably 50 plus productivity apps in the first week. And since then, I've deleted most of them. These seven surviving apps have completely transformed how I work, not because they're trending, not because influencers are talking about them, but because they actually help me turn my MacBook into a productivity machine. So let me show you exactly how I use them. Loom, the meeting killer. I've recorded exactly 686 looms in the past year alone, and that's not just a random number. I checked my stats this morning. I average probably one to two loom recordings a day, and there's really good reason why I use it so much. Here's how Loom works and why it's different from just regular screen recording. Loom lets you record your screen and your face simultaneously in 4K quality. The biggest reason I love Loom is simple. It saves time for everyone involved when I'm communicating with my team who are mostly working remotely. So instead of typing out long detailed emails or scheduling yet another meeting, I just record a quick video showing exactly what I mean. So what would take 15 minutes to write in an email takes two minutes to record. Plus I can point at things on my screen while talking, making everything crystal clear. But here's what really makes it powerful. The person receiving my loom can watch it at 2x speed and they can pause it when they need to take notes or rewatch sections they didn't catch the first time. So no more sitting through an hour long meeting filled with off topic discussions or waiting for everyone to join the call. I record my loom once. They watch it when it suits them, when it's my employee prospects, clients, business partners, whatever, and we both get back to actual work. It's that simple. Rectangle, the window master. If you're coming from Windows like I did, you probably had that moment of frustration when you realized Mac doesn't have kind of a, a native window snapping. Rectangle doesn't just solve this problem, it improves on the Windows experience. So with just a keyboard shortcut, I can arrange my windows perfectly. I can have two windows split horizontally or vertically. So often if I'm multitasking or even I just have notes in one window and my Chrome browser in another window, Rectangle makes it so much easier to just snap the windows into place. Alt tab, the window whisperer. This was another feature that I really missed when switching from Windows to MacBook. It's the simple, on Mac, it's tab and command. So this is one of the first apps I installed and three years later, it's still running every single day. I use it multiple times a minute when I'm on my laptop. I'm always switching from one Windows to another. So with Alt tab, you have these window previews. So it kind of eliminates any guessing about which Chrome window you need to switch to, whether it's Notion, Microsoft Word, Quick time player or Chrome browser. But here's the real power move. You can customize the preview size, reorder your apps, and even exclude certain applications. For example, you could have your set to ignore Spotify if you never need to preview your music window. Filmora, the content game changer. Let's talk about Filmora 14. And trust me, this isn't just another video editor. We've tested a lot of video editing software from free software all the way to super expensive software. But Filmora 14's new AI features, they're genuinely impressive for content creators. And by the way, if you're using Filmora 13 with a perpetual license, that's yours for life, including all the updates within version 13. But Filmora Filmora 14 is a different beast entirely. The jump to version 14 isn't just a, a few new buttons. They've rebuilt major features from the ground up, especially around AI capabilities. I'll show you what I mean. Here's a raw clip from a video that's been edited. Notice the awkward pauses, the lighting issues, and the rough transitions. Now, watch what happens when I run it through Filmora's AI smart short clips feature. Not only does it fix these issues automatically, but it also creates multiple variations optimized for different platforms. But that's just scratching the surface. The real game changers are the AI powered features that save hours of editing time. The AI translation and lip sync is really good. And I can record in English and Filmora will translate my video into Spanish, French, or any other language while matching my lip movements perfectly. For creators trying to reach international audiences, this is huge. Then there's the smart scene detection. Instead of screen 
scrubbing through hours of footage marking cut points, Filmora identifies the perfect edit point automatically and you can use this feature on, for example, a 30 minute interview and it can save you a good two hours of editing time. My favorite though is the AI video enhancer. So those early morning recordings with terrible lighting can be fixed in seconds. Shaky footage from walking and talking, they can be stabilized instantly. Background noise in your audio, they can be gone with a click. So let me show you a real example. Here's a video that I filmed not too long ago. So watch what happens when I apply the AI enhancements. Notice how it balances the exposure, it sharpens the details and it makes the colors pop all automatically. And then you have the motion tracking feature, which is also really impressive, adding text or graphics that follow a moving object used to take forever with key frames. Now, two clicks and it's done. Perfect for tutorial videos or product demonstrations. And something that is, I feel, rarely talked about is Filmora's audio synchronization feature. So when I record tutorials, I often use my professional mic for better sound quality, which means I'm dealing with separate video and audio tracks. Instead of manually lining these up and hoping they stay synchronized, Filmora analyzes both tracks and matches them automatically. And even better, if the audio drifts out of sync partway through, which happens more often than you think, it can fix that too. It's not a flashy feature, but when you're editing multiple videos a week, these small time savers add up to hours saved every month. So what could take an entire evening of editing can now take less than an hour. The time saved makes it a no-brainer investment for anyone creating content regularly. And if you are interested in checking Filmora out, you can get a 14-day trial to test everything I just showed you. I'll drop a link in the description below for you to check them out. Next up is Bartender, the cleanup crew. So let's talk about keeping your Mac clean and organized. Bartender might look simple, but it's kind of really nice for making my whole kind of workspace clutter free. So my menu bar is very clean and minimal, only showing what I need. But it, if I didn't have Bartender, my menu bar would look like this. And I just don't need all those icons right there staring at me while I'm working. But with one click, I can access every utility and tool I have in the bar. The real magic though is in the automation, which I didn't know about these automations until recently. So you can set it up so the Wi-Fi icon, for example, only appears when there are connection issues or the battery only appears if the battery is like under 20%. X-Tiles, the Notion alternative for creatives. Xstyles is a collaborative workspace that adapts to the way you think. So it's kind of like Notion, but far simpler to use and more geared towards creatives and Gen Z. But Xstyles strikes the kind of perfect balance between functionality and simplicity. So when you open Xstyles, you're greeted with a clean blank canvas that doesn't intimidate. Instead, it kind of invites you to create. So whether you're managing projects, tracking habits, or organizing team collaborations, Everything just feels intuitive and accessible. And I can set up an entire productivity system in Exiles in under 15 minutes. And that's, I feel like, what makes it so powerful. My workspace includes things like monthly planning and goal tracking to meeting notes and habit management. But what's particularly impressive is their template library. So you don't have to start from scratch unless you want to, of course. The beauty of X-Tiles, I feel, lies in its ability to help you focus on what truly matters rather than kind of getting lost in complex features. You can very quickly organize your thoughts and projects in a visual, intuitive way. So X-Tiles, I'd highly recommend. Rise, the time detective. So here's something interesting. A few months ago, I was using Rise and it showed me that I averaged seven hours of focused work daily, which is good, but it showed me that 24% of that time was online meetings. And this kind of data changed how I schedule my days. But here's what changed even more. So Rise does, doesn't just track time, it tracks productivity. So it knows when I'm actually focused versus when I'm just kind of staring at my screen. And it even suggests my optimal work hours based on my productivity patterns. And one thing that I learned when I looked at my context switching patterns, it turns out I was jumping between tasks way more than I realized, sometimes up to 40 times per hour. 
And Rise showed me that after each switch, it took at least a few minutes to get back into that kind of deep focus. So I wouldn't have really noticed that if it wasn't for Rise tracking my productivity. So if you like this video, you're gonna love these two videos right here where I talk about some other productivity tools. You can click on those cards on the screen to watch those and do check out this video sponsor Filmora, link in the description below.